I think you have to have a, a love of comic books and superheroes to uh, really appreciate Wild Card. We kind of explore different areas. Some of our books have been actual very science fiction books with aliens and alien invasions. Others have been more personal, you know, mean streets and mob wars in New York City. This is our horror <laughs> trilogy. Um, it starts out not looking like horror. It looks like a fight club kind of horror thing. Start in the first of the three books. But by the time our characters end up in the third book, they realize that they're in a, in a cthulhu horror novel. Wild Cards is superheroes for grown-ups. Um, it's a more realistic depiction of how superpowers would affect the world, how superpowers would affect the people blessed or cursed with it. Um, I think there's more psychological truth to it. I think what the Wild Cards universe really has going for it is the fact that it's had a chance to grow and to develop. Marvel is the world outside your window, but it's the world outside your window in this constant state of refresh. It has an underside, it has a grittiness, it has a reality to it. Yeah, the Wild Card writers have constantly surprised me. <laughs> Uh, since the very beginning. You know, in the Super War game, the characters got their powers like comic book characters do, you know? One character is really an alien, and another character gets bitten by a radioactive wombat, and the third character gets hit by a lightning bolt. Okay, that's fine for the game, that's fine for Marvel, that's fine for DC. We knew it wouldn't work in a science fiction context. You have to be a little more realistic. We needed a single cause, and Melinda came up with the idea of the virus, the wildcard virus, a single retrovirus that uh, would have random effects. Don't read it late at night, um, it's scary. <laughs>